All right, today we are going to be making a set of eight point straps um, and a set of truck claws. The materials left over from making the truck claws are going to help make the eight point straps. So first thing you need to do is stop down to Family Farm and Home and pick up your straps. You need six each. And while you're there, grab an extra 30 foot strap. They're 12 bucks right now and it's always nice to have an extra 30 feet of strap on your truck. You're also going to need your C-channel. I use a four foot piece and cut it down. And then what you're going to end up doing for the truck claws is you got to cut down half of this right around here, this edge here. Just cut that piece off so that it can actually make the claw. All right, now that you got everything open, you're going to have a set of four straps and four ratchets and a set of two over here. And these are going to be for the truck claws. Using a uh, three quarter, you're going to remove both of these short pieces here by taking them off here. With both straps removed, this is what you're going to have left. Next, you need to remove these hooks off of the straps for the truck claws. And then cut off about six foot of the strap, just enough to wrap around and reach for your wheel that you're mounting this to. Six foot should be more than enough. So I miscounted in the beginning and you actually need eight of these straps to start with, not six, because you need to end up having four of these for your eight point tie downs. So after you cut off all the hooks from your short straps, now you can put short pieces in with your bigger straps to make the eight point kit. Now you're gonna take the strap and secure it directly to the ratchets. Here they are secured back to the ratchets. Now you're going to cut them to the length that you want. I cut them about there. Now I'm gonna burn the ends so they don't fray when you're feeding them back through the ratchet to secure your C-channel. For the C-channel, I just went to a local fabricating shop and bought a four foot piece and cut it into seven inch long sections like this. And then I cut off about this much. So about a, about a half inch I cut off down the side there just to make it um, more like a claw, but you don't have to do that. You're gonna also want to grind down these edges here and try to flatten them out a little bit so when the strap comes over, it's not rubbing on this 90 degree sharp angle, it'll cut. And when you're done cutting, you should have something that looks about like that. I'm guessing what, around 100 bucks, you can make your own kit and end up with four truck claws. For those of you that go off-road and play in places that you shouldn't and need a little help getting back out, you'll end up with some leftover strap from the stuff that you cut off for the truck claws. I don't have any ideas on what to do with this extra stuff. I was saving it. I got about 15 of them. Anybody has any ideas or thoughts, let me know on that. I hate to throw it away. And everything stores in the nice Hercules bag from Harbor Freight as well.